video, we're going to write our own function given a situation from the real world. So we're going to look at cell phones and international roaming charges. The base cost of your monthly cell phone bill is $80 a month. Because of international travel, you have the international roaming option turned on. This means that for each day you activate your phone on an international network, an additional $10 is added to your bill. Let C be your monthly cell phone bill, where X is the number of days during the month that the international roaming was used. Let's just recap. What does X represent? It represents the number of days during the month that international roaming was used. What does C represent? C represents your monthly cell phone bill. It's very important that at the beginning of a problem, you make sure you understand what the variables are and what they represent, including the units. Now I'm going to pause this video and let you take a stab at filling out the table below. So for zero, one, two, three, four, and five days that international roaming was used, tell me the cost of that monthly cell phone bill. Okay, hopefully you've taken a stab at this. If we don't roam at all, we still have to pay for our cell phone and we're gonna pay $80 for the phone. So let's add that there. If we roam for one day, during that month, we're adding $10 to our bill, so that's gonna be $90. If we roam for two days during the month, we're gonna add $20 to our base cost of $80, so that's gonna be $100 a month, and so on. So three days will cost us 110, four days will cost us 120, and five days will cost us 130. The next thing we're gonna do is sketch a graph of this relationship. Now remember, we need to be careful which axis gets the independent variable and which axis gets the dependent variable. In this case, what we can control is the number of days of international roaming. Let's put the number of days of international roaming on the x-axis, since that's the independent variable. And that means that the monthly cost of our cell phone bill is going to go on the vertical axis. All right, now, even if we don't roam for any days, the monthly cost is going to be $80. So maybe let's just put 80 kind of in the middle there. And we've got a point at 0, 80. And then it goes up by 10 every time we take a step over on the days. So we could label this with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the x-axis. And then going up on the y-axis, we would need... 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. And so we could plot those points that we know. I'm not quite sure I've got this perfectly right on my picture here, but you get the idea. It would be a straight line of an increasing graph that crosses the y-axis at 80. Now we can write a formula for this. This is another great place to pause and see if you can answer the rest of the questions on this page. The rest of this page is just some logic and reasoning. The better you try, the more you're going to learn. Okay, we're back. Let's start with the relationship between X and C. What is that formula? Well, the cost is always going to be that $80 and then $10 times however many days there were. So that would be x. So we're going to write c equals 80 plus 10x, or you could write c equals 10x plus 80. These are both the exact same expression. Now, if you were in an international roaming zone eight days out of the month, we can now use this formula to calculate the monthly cost. So we could just say the cost is going to be 80 plus 10 times 8. So that's going to be 80 plus 80 or $160. If your monthly bill is 210, that means the C value is 210. So now we need to solve an equation 210 equals 80 plus 10x. We'd solve this by first subtracting 80 from both sides of the equation, both sides of the equal sign. That would give us 130 equals 10x, and then we divide by 10 
to give us x equals 13. So it would take 13 days of international roaming to bring our bill up to $210. Now what's the least amount your cell phone could be in a month? It's going to be $80. That's if you don't roam at all. What's the most your cell phone could be in a month? Well, the longest month is 31 days and 31 days could lead to an additional charge of $310 just for the days of roaming plus $80 for the base charge. So that would be a bill of $390. Yikes. A quick recap to remind you what we did here. First, we write out what are the variables and what do they mean? It helps to make some kind of table of values to make sure that you understand the problem. Then we wrote a relationship between the values and used that relationship or formula to answer some questions.